lived in my heart, but I lived nowhere. I was all alone in the world. You're sick. Eva? I don't want to be an idiot. I want to go to school. I'm sorry, the subway got stuck. I'm it? sorry too, but it's really too late. School started three weeks ago. We're just about full. With kids who get here on time, honey. I read the brochure. Intensive student participation for the development of a just community. I just need one chance. You can wait and talk to David, but he's got this meeting right after. Now why would that be? How about me? How about you? Nope, it's Saturday. I knew at that moment I had to make a choice. I could submit to everything that was happening and live a life of excuses, or I could push myself. I could push myself and make my life good. I'm sorry, we're making our last decisions now. I'm already late. Well, can I just talk to you for a minute? 30 seconds? Well, there's the application. There's the whole big essay question, too. I've already done the essay. I really want this. I haven't had a lot of grown-ups that have proven to be trustworthy or that they're in it for the long run, so maybe I don't know how to talk to you, but... Uh... My parents both use drugs, a lot of them. I won't go near them, but I guess I've kind of lived the lifestyle. I'm embarrassed now about how laid back I've been. I mean, I've never even really been to school, except for the eighth grade. But well, your grades are very good in elementary school. I, I used to show up the last week and take the tests, and that's how I got promoted. I'm smart. I know I can succeed. I just, I just need the chance. I need... The chance to climb out of this place that I've been born in. I mean, everyone I know, they're just they're angry and tired. And they're trying to survive. But I know that there's a world out there that's better, that's better developed, and I want to live in it. Why now? My mother died of AIDS. She she died a couple of months ago, and uh, it was a real slap in the face. I guess I always thought that she was going to get better and take care of me. That's pretty stupid, huh? She'd never taken care of me. I took care of her. She was my baby. But now she's gone. So. <laughs> now it's time to take care of yourself. Can you get here on time, Liz? I'll sleep here if I have to. Okay, you're in. But you told the others you wouldn't know till Friday. You're in. David. Thank you. You just changed my life. Fast work, man. We just have to file the paperwork. It's the kind of roll. It's kind of cake. It's Kaiser roll. So is Bismarck a Kaiser? Stop talking about food. You're making me hungry. <laughs> Dave, are we going to get textbooks next year? Because I keep losing these things. Hmm, textbooks. Why don't we use textbooks? Anyone? They're too heavy. <clears throat> they are, but no cigar. 
Uh, they're too expensive. The school's too poor. Uh, I'm keeping my cigars today. You, new girl. Her name is Liz. Yeah, geez, Dave. She's been here a week. Try and remember. Liz, sue me. Here. Textbook. Textbook. Go ahead. Open it up. What do you see? Words. <laughs> what kind of words? The words of the author. No, no, no. This is important. And what do we have here? A lot of other people's words. Why do I want you to have them? Because one point of view gives you a one-dimensional world. Cigars. Cigars. Bismarck. Marks. The guy who sold me the bubblegum cigars. Why on earth would we want to confine ourselves to his story? History. But isn't that the deal, Dave? I mean, isn't there an official history? No, girl. Tell them what history is. History is all of us. All our stories count. Hey, new girl. You let me in and you don't remember my name. No, I remember your name. I just like the others to gang up on your side. You're pretty smart. Huh. So are you. You gave me an A minus. Yeah, I thought it was a very good paper. How do I make it an A? Liz, an A minus is an excellent mark. And this is your first school work in what, forever? If my words count, I want them to be right. It's a good one. Whoa. What are you still doing here? Algebra. Yeah, well, it's after 11. I'm locking up. How many classes are you taking? Um, the regular five. And the, uh, the Saturday programming. The night school, French, and... The after-school science thingies. Ten. <laughs> now you see why I need the before-school math. That's an awful lot. Seventeen. I don't want to be 21 before I finish high school. So you're trying to do, what, four years of high school and three? Two. You need the before-school math, too. Yeah. You're gonna kill yourself, you know? No. Now I'm gonna live.
attach a brief essay describing what you believe to be the most significant academic achievement and how you have overcome any challenges or obstacles. Can I have a copy of this? I want to stand beside people on the sidewalk and not be so far beneath them. I want to go to Harvard and become very developed, read all the best books. And then I find myself thinking, what if I just go crazy and use every bit of my potential to do that? I have to do it. I have no choice. No. The world moves. You're just a speck. It can all. The world moves. You're just a speck. It can all happen without you. Situations are not conducive to what you want for yourself. Someone else's needs, someone else's plight is going to be stronger than yours is. I think people just get frustrated with how harsh life can be. So they spend their time dwelling on that frustration and calling it anger. Keeping their eyes shut to the wholeness of the situation. To all the little tiny things that have come together to make it... Because I was turned so inward by my mom and dad, I got a chance to see how all the little tiny things come together to make the final product. So I was never inclined to wonder why this or why that. I knew why. Not that I was happy about it. In fact, I was really sad about it most of the time. But I was very accepting. I was very accepting. I just always knew that I needed to get out. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? I loved my mother so much. She, she was a, a drug addict. She was an alcoholic. She, she was legally blind. She was schizophrenic. But I never forgot that she did love me. Even if, if she did. All the time. All the time. All, all the time. I hope you all know how much I really need this. Oh, I can't go to college or anything without it. completing four years of high school. She earned a 95 average and finished at the top of her class of 150. She did it while completing four years of high school in two. She did it while homeless, her mother dead, her father a drug addict living in shelters. And any way I describe this can't do justice to her accomplishments. So I'll just introduce to you our sixth New York Times scholarship winner, Liz Murray. Everything's changed. Um, my life will never be the same. And I don't know what else to say except for thank you. Thank you very much. Liz! Liz! How'd you do?
this? How could I not do it? My parents showed me what the alternative was. Didn't you ever feel sorry for yourself? Sorry? Sleeping in subways, eating out of dumpsters? That had always uh, been my life. And I really, I feel that I got lucky because any sense of security was pulled out from under me. So I was forced to look forward. I had to. There uh, was no going back. And I reached a point where I just thought, all right, I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can and see what happens. And now I'm going to college. And, uh, and the New York Times is going to pay. <laughs> so you were lucky. But is there anything you'd change if you were able? Yeah. I'd give it back. All of it. If I could have my family back. to Harvard. I got a job at the New York Times. I got an apartment. I don't have to carry my whole life with me anymore. I don't have to carry my whole life with me. But I do. Everyone I've known, everything I've done, pieces chip off. I forget the little things. It's still hard to carry alone. So that's why I've told you. That's why I've told you my story. And now I can lay that burden down, put it to rest, and, and I can go on. Close your eyes.